Hey guys, so we're out pulling all our. Oh, looks like we got us a little coyote over here. Anyway, we're out pulling all the um, traps out in the farmland. Boy, that is one puny little coyote. But anyways, got one. But yeah, we're out pulling everything because I'm gonna move all the stuff into the uh, farmland, or I'm into my RTL. This is the same ram where last time I checked I had that uh, chewed off snare, so. Anyways, groovy. Hey guys, we're back where I got the double on coyotes the other day, and looky here. Medium side, oh, nice fur. Another double day on coyotes. Um, gosh, almost makes me wish I hadn't decided to pull all my sets out. But the decision has been made, and it's happening. Coyote catching is fun. This one's a little bit bigger than the one I just caught, but not as big as the ones I got last time here. Okay, we'll go check the other two snares. Nothing in that one. Right there. And where's the ram? The rounds right here. But another chew off or what? Yep. What in the world? That is odd. But oh well. Dog on it. Oh, oh well. Pull these out and head over to the next spot. Where are you? Oh, there you are. See the bunnies are starting to turn white. We don't get some snow in a week or so. These guys are going to be <laughs> easy pickings. Anyways, going over here to pull out these two trail cameras I put in last time at the bear trail, so I don't have to come back for them after. Yeah, here's number three coyote for the day, but this one is staying right here. It's got some pretty messed up manes going on here, so he'll just be left right here and when I come over the hill over there I, uh, on my bait pile I've seen uh, another coyote take off from over there so anyways I'll get that guy out of there on the way back I got one more snare up here and, and that's it
Okay guys, I just uh, stopped at an old road in, uh, right on the edge of my bear area just to uh, go in and see you know, what it looked like, where it went and so far it goes right to here now this isn't my trap line but I'm just going to try and get a lay of the land so I can look back on my maps and see exactly where I am because I'm in about a mile and a half right now I don't know if it's a muskrat or a beaver swimming from the beaver house here dug up, you know, how they always do it, but uh, the last mile on the a bit has been really nice, it's beautiful, I'll go over here and I'll show you what the, I've been following this thing for probably a mile without even a, one log across the trail. beautiful dry ground. Not sure how far it goes before I, it just ends, but I think I've got about another half hour to explore so I can get another mile in anyways. Anyways, we'll uh, turn it off and it's a beautiful area for a bear stand bait. I'm back about half a mile back from the road now. I just noticed this. There, here, there, here, there, a little bit there. Called a chaga rich environment. Anyway, just noticed that as I was walking by, so I thought I'd show you. 